Neighbours is the 20th episode of the first season of Everybody Loves Raymond. This is directed by Jeff Mayer and in general it's a good episode. We have a lot of variety in terms of the characters and the locations and there's definitely a good amount of comedy but I feel like they did not get anywhere near as much out of Frank and Marie as they could have done. I always think Frank and Marie are so golden when it comes to humour and we just didn't get enough of them and also I found the last two scenes to be Really, really boring. So not the strongest ending either. There will be spoilers as I discuss what happens in this episode. So spoilers from now. It starts off okay with Ray and some sauce. And it was an absolutely fine way to start things off. And then the main narrative kicks in. And we only have one one narrative running through this. One part of the plot. And it works very well. There's enough there to, to sustain itself. And Ray and Deborah are in bed. We see this bright light. It turns out it's from the motion sensor from Frank and Marie's house. Frank has installed this because he thinks it will stop people stealing his car, which I guess makes a degree of sense. And then it's 7.30 the following morning. Frank is doing DIY. And we can hear the noise. Of course we can. We can hear the noise from Ray and Deborah's house. And I have to say, I, I sympathise. I detest the sound of DIY. It gives me horrific anxiety. So I completely understand how they were feeling. And Robert comes over. He's bust his nose because, <laughs> because I wondered when I saw him walk in the door and he had this bandage on his nose, I did think, how on earth has he done that? And I did like the the mystery, the fact that he was on screen for, I'd say, a good minute before we got an explanation. So the pacing there was really good. The suspense was brilliant. And it turns out that he ran outside to turn off the car alarm, which had also been going off, and <laughs> he ran into an oak tree. So I thought that was very well done. And then Frank comes over, and he's he's adorable. He's in his DIY clothes and, and he tells Ray that he loves the big book of hobbies that Ray bought him. It's the best gift he's ever been given. And I love the display of gratitude. I love his enthusiasm. It's really sweet. And then Deborah gets a phone call. It's from one of the neighbours phoning to complain about Frank and Marie. And they're going to all come over at some point. But meanwhile, Deborah is... Letting off a bit of steam in the kitchen and we have this really amazing moment where Deborah's back is turned to the kitchen curtain but she opens the curtain without looking at it and we see <laughs> we see Marie cleaning the window from the outside which I just think is fabulous. I do wish Deborah had turned around and seen her. I would have loved her reaction. I think that would have been brilliant. I think that was a missed opportunity. But I guess we got a bit of comedy out of Ray slyly shutting the curtain without Deborah realising. Then the neighbours come over. And they're all complaining about Frank and Marie. And the reason they've come over is because with Ray being related to them, of course, they feel like Ray and Deborah have a better chance of getting through to Frank and Marie than random neighbours would. And they kind of want to kick them out of the community. And I feel like that's a little bit extreme. One of them, again, completely extreme, but one of them inappropriately has a videotape that they've recorded over a course of a few days with Frank collecting the newspaper. Maybe that sounds a little bit boring, but it is actually quite funny. We see Frank collecting the newspaper over the course of a few days and the comedy does increase. It gets funnier and funnier. The bit with the towel I thought was brilliantly done uh, and I rather enjoyed that. I don't condone it, I don't agree with filming your neighbour without their consent, but it was very funny. And then Frank and Marie come over with a birdhouse that Frank has built, presumably from his big book of hobbies, and they see the videotape and Marie realises what it is before Frank does. And I think the performance there was brilliant. I loved their reactions. That was a, a real joy to see. And they they, they leave. They realise what's going on and they leave. And then Ray feels guilty at night. So he goes over to their house and there are sandwiches. A lot of sandwiches. And honestly, they're being too understanding. Frank and Marie were saying, we didn't realise we were upsetting people so much. I'm glad they told us. And they they start to have this party for the neighbours. And I feel like this was underplayed because I feel like they were up to something. But this never came into fruition. But I felt like Frank and Marie were doing something or planning something. They were too understanding of the situation. And I just feel like that part of the, the episode didn't make a lot of sense to me. Ray then goes to confession. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this scene. I saw that, thought it was very well done. He goes to confession because... He's having difficulty with honouring thy father and thy mother. 
And I love how this played out because we then hear a story about how somebody on the church board was causing problems. We learn it's a character called Frank and Ray realises this is his father and instantly when he reveals his parents are Frank and Marie Barone, he is absolved of his guilt, which I just thought was so funny. The timing there was absolutely perfect. Really loved it. And then the two scenes after that I thought were really boring. Ray goes over to Frank and Marie's house and apologises. I don't think he had anything to apologise for because he didn't do anything wrong. As Deborah pointed out, when the neighbours were coming over and complaining, Ray was standing up for his parents. So Ray actually didn't have anything to apologise for. And by having the scene play out where where... Ray apologised and Marie said that's all she'd wanted, that it just didn't make a lot of sense. It didn't really work very well and it wasn't very funny. In the end with Robert going to confession, was it was fine. I mean, I didn't care for it very much, but I don't have any problems with it. But I feel like the episode ended before it was over and it felt unfinished. So I didn't love the last few scenes. I didn't love the scene with Marie and Frank preparing the party. I just feel like there was more to this than we were given. So it's not a perfect episode, but we do get some good moments. Neighbours is absolutely fine. I would never skip it. I definitely wouldn't skip it. It's not one of those episodes. It certainly isn't bad, but I think there was significant room for improvement. So I enjoyed it, but it could have been better.